The British Aircraft Company was a British aircraft manufacturer based in Maidstone. It was founded by C. H. Low Wild and produced gliders and light aircraft during the 1930s. BAC Limited was registered as a limited company on 4 March 1931. Directors were C. H. Low Wild, K. Barcham Green, and Mrs. Sheila M. Green. Around this time, Low Wild was developing the principle of launching gliders by towing them using a powerful car. Giving demonstrations around the country, his Bentley, driven by Mrs. Green, was able to launch him to a height of 300 feet, thus making hill sights and bungee launch teams unnecessary. A public demonstration of this on the Brooklyn's race tracks finishing straight on 9 April 1931 was filmed by British Path and almost ended in disaster when Low Wild clipped the port wing as he made an impressive landing under a footbridge. A school of auto towed instruction was started at West Malling. The Sopwith Dove GEBKY now with the Shuttleworth collection was also used for aero towing. Topic glider production Charles H. Low Wild was the first person in Britain to earn the FAI a gliding certificate on the 30th of March 1930 flying a primary glider of his own design built in 5 weeks by members of the Kent Gliding Club and named Columbus the glider was first flown at Detling on the 23rd of February 1930 Low Wild set up the British Aircraft Company in mid-1930, with works in an old brewery at Lower Stone Street, Maidstone. BAC. I. The first true BAC aircraft was another primary, the BAC. I. Again used by the Kent Gliding Club. BAC. 2. The BAC. 2 was also a primary, but instead of an open girder type frame, it had a box spar fuselage. This first flew at Linham on 21 September 1930 and about 15 were sold, including one in Jamaica. Low Wild would deliver the gliders personally and demonstrate them at the club's site and if necessary take the pieces home for repair the same day. BAC. 3 The BAC. 3 consisted of the wings and tail from the BAC. 2 combined with a fuselage enclosing the pilot. First flying at Linham on 12 October 1930, 2 went to the Glasgow and Accrington Gliding Clubs, while 3 further clubs had their BAC. 2 primaries delivered along with alternative BAC. 3 fuselages, so they could be flown in either configuration. BAC. IV an improved version of the BAC. 3 appearing in April 1931 was the BAC. IV with longer, tapered wings. One was sold to Mr. C. M. C. Turner of the Channel Gliding Club. For an intended channel crossing, it was towed to 10,000 feet by Squadron LDR Proben in his Westland Wigeon GEBRQ on 18 June 1931, but this was not high enough for the planned flight. BAC V The BAC V was simply a BAC. 3 equipped with a pair of wheels for auto towing. One was built for the Border Gliding Club, while the Preston and District Club converted their BAC. Three for towing off the beach at Middleton Sands, Haysham. However this aircraft crashed there fatally on 15 May 1932. BAC V When the BAC. IV was fitted with wheels, it was known as the BAC. V. One was soared by Wolf Hearth at Ballsdean on 1 April 1931 for 2 hours 13 minutes. The Taunton and West Somerset Gliding Club was presented with a BAC. V by their president, Lt. Col. Hamilton Galt, MP, which was first demonstrated for the club by Mr. Low Wild on 9 July 1931. BAC 7 on the 12th of April 1931 the first two seat BAC 7 flew still using the 40 feet 10 inches span wings of the BAC IV and V but with a new fuselage and an aircraft type twin wheel undercarriage for aero or auto towing 
A BAC. Seven sponsored by novelist Barbara Cartland was intended to compete for the Daily Mail cross-channel competition prize, but in trials, flown by Edward Mole and towed by DH.60 Moth GAAPA of National Flying Services, the combination was unable to get above 6,000 feet, insufficient height for a crossing, so instead a towed flight was made from Maidstone to Reading on 20 June 1931. Robert Kronfeld made a successful Channel crossing the same day, the RAF pageant held at Hendon on the 25th of June 1932 included a display by three BAC seven gliders. At the British Gliding Association meeting at Hewish, Pusey Hill, G. E. Collins, the BGA instructor, made the first thermal soaring flights in the UK with a cross-country flight of six miles in a BAC seven on the 3rd of July 1933. Some BAC VIIs were sold as kits, including one built in Palestine, and a replica was built by Michael Moff in the 1980s, using the wings from a drone. BAC 8 The BAC 8 was a two seat flying boat glider using BAC 7 wings and tail, nicknamed the Bat Boat. After similar craft described in a short story by Rudyard Kipling, it was tested in August 1931 by being towed behind a speed boat on the River Medway at Rochester. On 7 December that year it was demonstrated from the Welsh Harp Reservoir at Hendon. BAC 11 The last of Low Wilde's glider designs was the BAC. X, a lightweight sailplane designed for possible home building. One only was built, first flown at Ballsdean on 4 October 1931. The Kent Gliding Club were hoping to acquire it in 1933, but nothing more is known. <laughs> Powered aircraft Planet in autumn 1932 the four BAC. Planets appeared, these were conversions of BAC. VIIs fitted with a 600cc Douglas engine driving a pusher propeller. The first two were demonstrated at London Air Park on 27 November 1932. In 1932 the prototype Percival Gull, GABUR, was built in the BAC works at Maidstone. On 13 May 1933 Low Wild was killed in an accident while flying a planet at Maidstone Airport. British Aircraft Company drone Robert Cronfeld took over the company and started modifying the surviving planets to produce a more practical single-seat light aeroplane known as the BAC. Drone. The firm moved to a new factory at London Air Park Hanworth, and became the British Aircraft Company 1935 Limited. The drone went into quantity production in 1935. On 21 May 1936 the company was renamed as Kronfeld Limited. The drone was also built under license at Issy les Moulineaux in France by the Société Française des Aviens Nouvelles SFAN, and at Ghent in Belgium by the Société Gantoise des Aviens Sans Motor. <laughs> 